Hey, we're Ivy Paint and we're on the cookhouse. Hey guys, so we're one half of Ivy Paint, the, the worst looking half. And I'm Jason, I play the drums and Sean. I'm Sean, and I'm the lead vocalist and rhythm guitarist. Yeah, so Melatonin was kind of a sad song before, and then I realized that it's kind of a lot more fun to play upbeat pop rock kind of stuff. Um, so we turned it into, you know, pop rock uh, banger. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of quirky lyrics. You know, the, the verses go through the days of the week. Um, I thought it was important to finally feature the other members of the band for their vocals because Christian and Adam, they're underrated, but they got some, they got some nice pipes, you know? Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> well, I mean, this guy did the ad libs. That was a <laughs> thing we tacked on at the end. I remember like a lot of like the writing process for like our new music happened like during like the heart of like being stuck in quarantine and being on FaceTime a lot. And when you played me like the initial rough draft of this on FaceTime, just on your piece of guitar, I was like, I was like, Shh. like that's the one. I remember I was pushing to have this one come out before I hit Rush. <laughs> Yeah, because I was like, this is the one shot. You're definitely like adamant about this, like being like ASAP, like coming out. As I'm so excited about this. Yeah. I mean, I think it was like the rap, the bridge that caught your attention. Yeah, I was like, this is something different. And it's it's something different, but also very familiar. Yeah. I mean, I don't even listen to rap. I like, I listen to like Eminem, like in like seventh and eighth grade. That's such a, I don't <laughs> listen to rap thing to say. But I like Eminem. Listen to, listen to rap, God, you know? Um. It's funny because I don't listen to rap, but I would say the same thing. Yeah. That's how I know, like, <laughs> and anyone that loves rap would be like, oh, okay, let's go. Well, there was, like, a short phase where, where I was, like, trying to get into, like, Lil Peep and, like... <laughs> like Lil Peep is the inspiration for this album. <laughs> yeah, exactly. SoundCloud rappers. Um, but yeah, Melatonin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the chorus was originally going to be all me with vocals. I was like, dude, I don't have enough oxygen. Like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm terrible at, like, breathing, so <laughs> I, I had Adam come in for a little line. Day in, day out. That's your Adam impression. Yeah, well, that was a terrible one. Um, what else is there? I the just bridge. think that like, if you don't like rock music, you might still like the song. But if you do write, like rock music, you will also still like the song. I think it's got potential to reach a wide variety of So what sets the song apart is the fact that Christian gets to sing, Jason gets a lot more of those ad libs like I said earlier, um, and then of course that rap bridge, it's a, it's a sonic shift from what we normally do. Um, I have to get some that, that sick flow. Like I was saying earlier, I think it's like, it's the most different thing we've put out, but you can see it still sounds like us at the same time. You know what I mean? Like it's not like it's not like we're here putting out like a dubstep song. Or anything. It's just like wah, wah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think it. I think that we just made a song that can appeal to many different types of people, like the saying earlier. Yeah. But also, we're not losing our core fan base. Yeah. Yeah. I think my favorite part uh, to play slash rap in the song would be the bridge. Um, Cause it's just a moment where I get to kind of take off the mic, you know, um, just... <sighs> it's also the moment where an electronic beat comes in and I get to sit there and catch my breath and do nothing while the, the 808 or whatever takes over for a second. So if you're lazy and you're a drummer, that's the best part of the song. Just backing tracks, always. <laughs> The worst part about recording this song is logic like crashing every minute yeah. when we were trying to record. It's because we had like so many layers, like in terms of like harmonies and the extra instruments. Like, so many tracks. Like quadruple tracking guitars. Um, that the, the program we were using would like glitch out and like we would have to like restart it a lot. Yeah. We Props to our producer for like having patience. Yeah. Jacob Craddock from Near My Drive. Cool man. Cool man. He's using like a like a 10 year old computer, something like that, so. Gets the job done, but. <laughs> it's a tank. Personally, 
my favorite part of the recording process for this song was recording the gang vocals. Because I, I just thought it was fun. It was like, it was the whole band and Jacob, our producer Jacob, and my roommate AJ. And that all we had? Yeah, we had like six people total. Yeah, the just like plus two. stood around this one mic like we were a choir, like just singing the same line like over yeah. and over. And Jacob was like conducting. Conducting us like it was, Whoa, two, that was fun. Three. Yeah. Um, and then I think my favorite part was just like watching um, Christian and Adam like track their vocals for the first time. It's pretty funny. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty funny. It was pretty entertaining because like, I mean, I'm not like the best vocalist obviously, but like I was giving them like slight, slight tips and like pronunciation and like the parts they should like give more accents to, you know? I was not doing that. I was just watching. Who the hell is that guy? That was my only yeah. line in the song. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't have a single pair of Nikes. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I have, I'm a Vans Converse guy. I'm a Converse, can I say Converse? Okay, I, I, I guess Vans. Dude, I think if I wore Nike, it would like give off the impression that like I'm athletic. But yeah, I don't fall. Like, I get like stressed out when like someone like throws me something, like they're just like passing me like, I don't know, like literally anything, like a water bottle and like freak out. They're like, yeah, no bueno. Not and you want your shoes to represent that or not record. You know, I got you. I want them to show them, you know. So Converse. <laughs> That's the dumbest question I've ever heard. The Jonas Brothers are not only the best boy band, they're like one of the best like pop acts of the last like 15 years. So the Jonas Brothers. I don't know. See, Jonas Brothers might have like better music, but Big Time Rush's TV show is definitely good. Okay, but so you're basing the better band off of who had the better TV show? Well, we're not basing it just off the of music. We're basing it off the entire press. Big Time Rush isn't even a real band. They were they auditioned for a TV show and had to record some songs for the TV show. Yeah. And it was our fake band. The Jonas Brothers were a real band before they were even signed to Disney. I could go on all day about this music. I think if you played like any instrumental of like either of their songs, like people would recognize the, uh, 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 that doesn't mean it's better. Quicker than like anything from the Jonas Brothers. That doesn't mean it's better. It is better than <sighs> I'm arguing for BTR. Cool yeah. guys. You're in a pop punk. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. It's a tough <laughs> one. Ooh. Disney. Disney put out the better music and they have a better theme park. They also like ruined everyone's lives. No, okay, but <laughs> who's more successful right now? Like the only big star to come out of Nickelodeon is Ariana Grande. What? What's Miranda Cosgrove doing right now? What's Drake Bell doing right now? What is like, Victoria <laughs> Justice doing right now? Who knows? But like on Disney, you have Miley, Selena, Demi, Jonas Bros. They're all still freaking huge. I think Disney's channel was like, is king in creating stars. Yeah, but in terms of the TV shows, I think Nick was actually better. Mm -hmm. Nick Drake had Nick had iCarly and Drake and Josh, so they had these Victorious. two, which were which were better than anything Disney or Nickelodeon put out. But it's, in my opinion, it goes Nick, Drake and Josh, then all the classic Disney shows, then everything else on Nick. Uh, so that's it. Except for SpongeBob. Favorite. SpongeBob's the best. Well, yeah, exactly. That just, <laughs> that just <laughs> but that's a cartoon. I think if we're talking about like sitcoms. Like I loved Zach and Cody and like all the shit. Looking back, but Zach and Cody's pretty lame. They're all lame if you look back. <laughs> I don't know, I could go back and watch Drake and Josh, and like yeah. iCarly, Victoria, and like Zoe 101. Or like, me and my sisters loved Hannah Montana. <laughs> not gonna lie. But I don't even know why. I I, I, every time I think of Hannah That's Montana, so been. I think of the cheese beef jerky episode. <laughs> because I had the cheese in my butt, I had the jerky in my butt, I'm all together, and we got cheese jerky. <laughs> I've freaky, 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 fresh. I haven't heard that rap in so long. Just turn me back. Good luck, Charlie was funny. I like Bob. Is that the dad? Bob, the guy, the dad that looks like Mr. Incredible? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're both named it should, Bob. It should be live action. <laughs> right? It should be the live action Mr. Incredible. Yeah. That's funny. So once again, we are half of Bobby Paint. We're on the cookhouse. Thank you so much for watching. 
we have a new single called Melatonin coming out August 28th, that is a Friday, uh, to all streaming platforms. And we have a music video dropping. There is a music video coming. It's, it was filmed by the great Christian Qualis, who was behind the camera. Same time the media. Check them out. It's going to be awesome. And I guess we have a lot more planned that we aren't revealing yet. Uh, we're also trying to think of some other innovative ways to do some live stream shows and stuff like that. So if you guys have anything specific you want to see, so let us know. Yeah. And also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that subscribe button!